Hello, y'all. Good morning, my warriors. Uh, my my phone is a little blurry, y'all. I apologize. It's just looking really smudgy right now. Please bear with me. As long as y'all are able to hear me and get the word, then... But let me get my mic and get situated, y'all. Um, I just wanted to come in here and let y'all know. Good morning. Hope you're having a great start of your morning. And y'all tuned in with your girl Chandra on Self Motivation Talk. Uh, let me go ahead and get situated, y'all, because I'm a little, like, stuffed right now. Okay. I'll see y'all in a minute. Stay tuned. Y'all going to want to hear this con convo. And I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we looking better with the camera. We looking a little better. Uh, I had to get that right. I'm like, wait a minute. Why? Why so smudgy looking? Like, huh? So we got our coffee, y'all. I had to get my little mic so y'all could hear me a little better. I don't like being so loud in this apartment. Nosy people, even though I don't care too much, it's like, ill, you know, ill. But yes, welcome to Self Motivation Talk, y'all. Like I said, I hope y'all having a wonderful, wonderful start of your week on this beautiful Tuesday morning. And um, we're going to get straight into it, y'all. Um, this video is about watch who you connect with. Let me repeat that. Watch who you connect with. And that can be on all different levels. Watch who you connect with. And I mean to say that, to say this. Y'all remember if y'all watch my videos, you remember the last video I wrote, I put up there as far as um, support systems. It was a video a while back that I posted about support systems. Support is good. Yes, it's great. It's good to have support. Hold on, y'all got a text. Anyway, <laughs> watch who y'all connect with. And I say that to say that you will connect, you can end up connecting with the wrong people, okay? So we could end up becoming so desperate for support. We could end up, you know, feeling like we can't do it by ourselves. And we'll end up connecting with the wrong people, with the wrong person, the wrong crowd. You know, we'll, we'll end up connecting with the wrong people because we feel like we can't do it by ourselves or we feel like we need that support system and everything. Next thing you know, you don't connect with the wrong people, the wrong person. So we're going to need for y'all to have the utmost faith and courage to do this thing by yourself because you can do it by yourself. And then the thing is, when you do it by yourself, God is going to bring the necessary people, the people that are for you, the genuine people, the one that the ones that don't have ill intentions or anything towards you, that don't have undercover uh, 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 jealousy or, you know, envy in, behind the scenes or whatever the case may be. God will bring those people to you. Do not worry about it. He's not going to say the rest of your life, you're going to be lonely. You're just going to do this thing by yourself. No, you're not. He's going to bring the people that have the like-mindedness just like you. He's going to bring the people that, you know, gravitate towards your word and, and want to help in such a profound way where they don't have no negative intentions. They just want to connect with you and, and help build with you on a profound level, you know, for, because they, they see the vision as well. They don't want to harm it. They want to, you know, have abundance of it and spread it uh, uh, throughout the world. Those people are very hard to find. They're like a needle in a haystack, extremely hard to find. So be very vigilant on who you connect with, okay? At times, we we, we get up, we feel alone. You know, at times, you know, when we're doing it by ourselves, we feel like, well, hey, it wouldn't hurt to have somebody else tag along. But you have to, you have to be very discerning on the people that you have trying to ride the coattail of your success. Because those aren't the people that are really for you. They're really out for your destruction. But you have no clue because you're just looking for support. You're just looking for the people that, you know, could gravitate toward you and want to help out in a profound way to create a team or whatever the case may be. But you have to understand some people aren't out for your best interest. And I've heard on a, on a vast level, you know, of times where I've heard 
People never want to see you succeed better or higher than them. Always remember that. So even if a person come at the forefront and act like they want to help you or they for you or whatever the case may be, they're, they're supportive, be very discerning on if those people don't care about you succeeding on a higher level than them, okay? Because we're, we're talking about people that they want to see you succeed, just not better than them, okay? They want to see you win, just don't win more than me. You know what I'm saying? That's the world we live in, y'all. You'll have people that'll sit up there and say, I care. I'm so, I support you. You know, I, I see the vision. But at the same time, they really in the back talking so much smack. And you don't even know that. Okay? You thinking they're out for your best interest. No, baby. <laughs> no. That's why you got to do this thing by yourself. Ask the Lord to, to help you be able to walk the walk. Talk the talk and do what it is that you need to do for yourself, for your family, for the source. You got to do it for you, baby. You can't sit up here and think to yourself, I need support. And then go out here and try to find the wrong connections. Go out here and find the wrong source, a, a, a source of help. Then you're going to be lost in the sauce. Then you're going to get upset at these people that were already going to fail you to begin with. Okay? Because I've said that too before in my videos. People will fail you. Okay, so you will sit up there and put all your eggs in this basket thinking that these people are supportive or that they want to connect on a good level, on a profound level of helping you. And really, they just want to connect with you to destroy you. They want to connect with you to get close to you, to know your business. Next thing you know, it's getting spread around. And then you wonder how these people know what the hell you got going on. That's because the person you thought you was connecting with was really a Decepticon. Remember that. The person that you were really connecting with was really a Decepticon. And you thought they were out for your best interests. You thought they would abundantly help you. Y'all would create something, you know? Y'all would have longevity in this, abundance in this. Well, really, that person didn't think on a, on a large level like that. They didn't think like that. They didn't care about that. They was really just out for their own ill intentions. And you see, people like that, though, you never get good back into the earth. You might get a taste of it, but the Lord has only given you a taste of it so he can snatch it right back from you. See, he know what he's doing. He know what you deserve and what you don't deserve. So what he'll do is he'll give you a taste of that success. He'll give you a taste of those good people, those good connections. And then you know what he'll do? He'll snatch it right under you. He'll snatch it right from under you. And you'll be confused, abused, and lost in the sauce you'll be confused abused and lost and I just trying to point the finger at people that was already gonna fail you to begin with <laughs> why do you think I say I do this thing by myself because I can't point the finger at nobody else if I fail I can't point the finger I can't say well I, I depended on you I can't say well I, I, I brought you into this thing and connected with you Mm -mm. I ain't got to say that. See, because the thing about it is I don't have to chase for connections. I don't have to chase for the right people. And I don't want y'all to do it neither. Y'all don't have to chase either. You don't have to chase for the right people to be in your life. You don't have to chase for the connections to be in your life. You don't have to chase for the team members to, to, to come and collab with you. You don't have to chase none of that. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to chase none of it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting your good works out there. Keep putting your good deeds out there. And I can guarantee you, not probably, not maybe, but I can guarantee you, you're going to have the other people gravitate towards you that are supposed to be towards you. You're going to have the like-minded people that's supposed to connect and, and build a team with you. They will come. They will come. It's only when you rush the process. Now you ain't going to get the right thing that you're looking for. When you connect and you rush the connections, you ain't going to get the right connection that you looking for. You're going to get poses. You're going to get Decepticons. You're going to get people that's out for your ill will. Okay? Not for your best will. I need for y'all to understand. Be careful. Be extremely careful. And it's not just connections as far as business connections. We're talking about friendships. <laughs> connections and friendships. Connections and relationships. 
connections and being around people. It could be your own family. I don't care who it is. You just got to be discerning of the connections that you put yourself in front of. Because everybody ain't good for you. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Y'all know that saying. That's an old one. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Everything that sparkle. Come on. Everything that shine ain't real. Hell, I, I could have some... I could have some fake uh, uh, cubic zirconia that shine. I clean it good enough, it's going to shine like a real diamond. But it's really fake. And I'm going to need for y'all to understand that. It's really fake. But they're going to shine themselves up like a diamond, like the real thing. But in all actuality, it's not a real true connection, y'all. I'm going to need for y'all to understand that, man. I had to understand it the hard way, <laughs> On a on a plethora of times, I had to see. You see, you see how stupid I'm acting. I can't even explain it. There's no words for it. Okay, there ain't no words for the shit. Ain't no words. Y'all gotta understand, man. This thing called life, it ain't for nobody but you. And in order for you to make a great life for yourself, you got to make a do what it do. You seriously got to make a do what it do by yourself. Because if you're looking for people to help you make a do what it do, you're going to lose what it lose. Uh -huh. You get it? You won't lose. I'm trying to let y'all know, you got to have the mentality of not giving a damn about people, what they think, what they say, what they do. As long as it's not intertwining with you. As long as it's not intertwining with you. Okay? I need for y'all to understand. Don't get desperate. Don't be desperate. The time is going to come. You have to have patience. And a lot of times with patience, a lot of people say the patient's supposed to be on their timing. You're not understanding. The last video I said is never your understanding. It's never your timing. That's most of the world's problem. If it's not happening fast enough, it ain't happening. It ain't going to happen. I don't see it. It's not in the horizon. I don't see anything. But you see, that's the only time the Lord works. That's the only time he works. He'll never work in your understanding. He will never work on your timing. And he will never work where you will be able to see in the horizon. You won't be able to see nothing. The same way you look out at the beach and you don't see nothing but the horizon, that's what you're going to see. You ain't going to see nothing. You have to just believe it's there. You have to just believe that it's already happened. You have to believe that the connections are already in place. The friendships, the loyalty is already in place. The people that's going to help you thrive and succeed, they are already in place. You have to already know that. You have to believe that. You have to see it without actually seeing it, if you know what I mean. You see, because I don't see a damn thing happening for me right now. But at the same time, I see it. You get it? I don't see it at all. It's blurry. Not even it, ain't even it ain't even blurry. It's Ray Charles. I don't see a damn thing. But at the same time, I do see it. I do see it. I see it on a different realm. I, I see it in different lens. Not in physical lens. Y'all know. The lens that that corresponds next to the physical lens because we live right next door to it spiritual lens we're right next door to it we're right next door to the spirit realm and the physical realm side by side i told y'all you could jump from one and jump into the nether into to the other if you know how i know life is so freaking bustling I know life is so freaking hard, man. I know life is, is so busy. You, you barely have the time to sit and think for yourself. <laughs> Literally, you barely have the time to sit and even think of what I want to eat for dinner tonight when you come home. You're tired. 
You at work thinking about what's what, what I got to do when I get home. And then when you're at home, you're thinking about what the hell I got to do when I get to work and the people that I got to meet or, 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 or get back, you know, it's a proximity with when I get to work. Ew, you know? You're thinking of all of these different things, man. You discombobulate. So we don't want you to put more confusion and more stress onto your life connecting with the wrong people, man. You got enough going on. You, you, y'all got enough going on. I'm sorry, y'all. This dog hair keeps hitting my eyes. Y'all got enough going on. Don't let nobody sit up here and make your day, make your life more confusing than what it already is, possibly. You know? You're already going through enough. You already got enough trials and tribulations that you're tackling, that you're nunchucking back and forth, left and right. Like a karate kid. So we don't need for you to connect with the wrong people and make the wrong decisions on the people that's going to be in your life, man. We don't need for you to do that. You're only going to make it hard for yourself, harder for yourself. Because it's already hard. We don't want you to make it harder on yourself. You know, one thing my mom did used to tell me, though, people is always going to be there. Now, for me, it was about, you know, boys and everything and men, because I was, I go lie, y'all, I was a little boy crazy back then when I was young and everything, you know, I wasn't really focused on the vision, the picture of my my education and all that different stuff, whatnot. Yeah, I, I, I failed tremendously when it came to that. I was too gung-ho over boys that didn't do me no good. And she would always tell me, Child, boys are always going to be there. To the day you die, men going to be there. But you, you need to get yourself together. You need to get yourself an education. You need to do the right thing for yourself. That way, with these men that's already going to be around, that's already going to be here, you can meet the right one. The Lord can send you a good one that's for you because you're already in a line with loving yourself enough. Where the universe is going to give you what you are. You're not wishy-washy. You're strong. So you keep doing the right thing. You're going to have a strong man come into your life. They always going to be there. They there. See, mom, some things I never forgot. In fact, a lot of things I never forgot. And I never will forget. You've taught me a hell of a lot. You did. We're all not perfect. We're all perfectly imperfect. But you damn sure taught me a hell of a lot. And I thank you profoundly for that. I can't take that away from you at all. You're a strong woman yourself. You know it. Connect with the right people, y'all. And the thing about it is the Lord will give you the wisdom and the knowledge and the discernment for you to be able to recognize who's for you and who's not for you. You just got to keep the forefront of him at the forefront. You got to keep him right in alignment. You got to keep the Lord right tunnel vision. Boom. And he'll show you everything you need to be shown. He's going to tell you everything that needs to be told to you. Now, see, we, we too worried about what we want. And that's the thing. Once you start letting yourself down, let it go. And what I mean by let it go is let your better judgment and your understanding go. Let it go. Get it out your brain. Get it out your life, out your mind, everything. It's never your understanding. Start working in the reality of God's understanding. Only then will you be like, one thing fell for you. Now you're going to understand who is the, the one that has the, the, the power. Who's the one that has the control. Then you're going to say, you know what? That's all right. I wanted that badly, but the Lord knew that that wasn't for me. And just because I want something does not mean that is necessarily for me. He knew what was for me, that was better for me, that was, you know, that, that was going to help me out more so than this, that I thought, you, you get it? My understanding, I thought it was going to be better for me, but it's not your understanding. So what you thinking that that was going to be good for you, the Lord took that and put you into something else. He put you into alignment with something else. He put the vision of something else in front of you because he knew what you think is not 
what it is. It's not what's going to happen. It's not for you. So he put something else at the forefront because he knows it's his understanding and he knows what's for you. Now, once you start to operate on that frequency of, you know what? I know that's not for me. I, I wanted it badly. I'm disappointed because I did want that. But then you put it right back in your mind where, no, I guess it wasn't for me. You know, it's not my understanding. The Lord knew it wasn't for me. So now I got something else that's waiting for me. You have to operate on that frequency. If you do not operate on that on that frequency, you are going to find yourself so disappointed and blaming God for every damn thing that goes on in your life. That's wrong. Because you think it's your understanding. You think that you, you got the will. You think you got the control of where your life's supposed to end up. No, you don't, baby. You just got the will. But God is the one taking control of the will. You just drive. You just like this. But he the one if something comes. He got that will for you. You think you got that will. So I want y'all let I want to let y'all know, man, connect with the right people and don't jump the gun to connect with the right people. Take your time. Take your time, young man. Take your time, young girl. Take your time. Don't you rush to get old. <laughs> I love that song. But yes. I'm gonna need for y'all to don't rush. Take your time. And connect with the right people because God going to bring them to you. Don't go out there trying to look yourself because now you're going to find the wrong people. You're going to find Decepticons. And you're going to think that they're the right people because they know how to uh, shape shift as well. They, they chameleons as well. They know how to mirror your ass as well. Everything that you love dearly and nearly, they know how to mirror you. They know how to pretend that that is who they are. So you can connect with them and they can destroy you. That's the, that's the game. That's the plan. So you got to be the one to, like I said, have that wisdom to know like, no, I'm good. I'm good right now. God got me. He, he He's going to bring the people. And the people that he brings, you're going to know that's the people. That's the thing. You're going to know. Like my mom used to tell me, you're going to know that's your husband. And I used to always tell her, how? How are you going to know that's your husband? When they all feel the same. Every guy I meet, they mirror me and make me feel like they're good, loving people. So how am I supposed to know that? It's going to be, it's, it's different. This love is different. This mirroring is different. How am I supposed to know? Y'all, y'all, y'all going to know. I'm starting to feel it. Y'all going to know. Y'all going to know when that person is there that's for you, that God has brought to you. You going to know. And I ain't going to tell y'all how you going to know. You just going to know. Because I can't even explain how I know the things that's happening in my life that's going on inside of me, outside of me, everything. But you're going to know because you cannot praise anybody else for it except for the higher source. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. No, I just wanted to give y'all that word. Um, be careful who you connect with, man, because everybody that glitters ain't gold, man. I'm telling y'all, everything that looks shiny ain't real diamonds, man. That shit could be cubic, cubic zirconia. It could be fake, you know. It could be fake steel or whatever the case may be, whatnot, you know? Just be careful. Be careful. People pretend very well to be good people out here. That's why God gave us these gifts so you could see past that facade, okay? But until next time, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Hit those buttons, man. Y'all already know what it is. Please like, comment subscribe share these videos man it's gonna help people it's gonna help the algorithm of this channel and yeah i'm just i'm patient man i'm not the type of person where i'm looking for the views i'm looking for the comments i'm looking for the you know what i'm saying success comes the great success comes when you take your time you know when you see the vision and you just stay persistent on the on, on the goal at, at hand and um you do this right here never give up okay so when y'all do those things you're going to always succeed. There's no guarantee you're not. You're going to succeed. I don't care how long that may take. It could take 10 years for all I give a damn. You will succeed, though. You just got to stay the course. Stay persistent. A lot of people give up because of time. Forget time. And In fact, there's really no such thing as time. They created this shit. But the thing is, I'm going to need y'all to stay persistent. Stay vigilant. Stay the course. Keep tunnel vision. And don't care about what the hell nobody else got to think, say, or do. As long as they ain't coming in your proximity, doing it to you, okay? I love y'all. Stay prayed up with the most high at the forefront. 
Learn to not give a damn about nobody but yourself. Because in this world, in this lifetime, it don't matter about nobody else but yourself and your family that truly loves you and that loves on you profoundly and truly and dearly and abundantly. All of that good shit. All right, y'all. Hit them buttons. You already know what to do. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.